Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first video on this particular channel. And I'm going to say particular a lot because I say it a lot, I don't know why. Okay, today we're going to be talking about a, uh, a game that I'm uh, pretty far in on the bandwagon. I just pl started playing this about a month, maybe two months ago. It's the uh, World of Warcraft trading card game. Now I do play the World of Warcraft uh, online video game, but we're not going to be talking about that. Well, we might touch on that a little bit, and there's a reason why. Um, what do you need to get into this game? Well, you need cards. And uh, without going into too much detail about this, so I'll try and keep it short and brief. You are going to need to purchase cards. Where do you get the cards? Well, you can get the cards online, or you can get the cards at your local game store. I've even actually seen them at Walmart in the discount, uh, discount card walls. I've seen them at Zeller's. Um, those two places, but that's kind of a shot in the dark. You never know if you're going to get them or not. Uh, funny, funny enough, I did see the uh, War of the Elements uh, blister packs over at uh, Zeller's. I believe it was Zeller's. No, it was Walmart. Sorry, Walmart. My bad. Uh, you can do that, or you can go to your local game store, and they have probably have a, a larger selection of different uh, series that you can choose from. Um, also, you can purchase starter packs. Um, this is the first starter pack they came out with. Uh, Quite a few years ago, actually, this is the one that the entire game is based around. This is Heroes of uh, Azeroth. Now, that, that doesn't mean you have to buy this particular one to get into the game. You could buy the most current pack, current uh, box, and still play the game. Because um, the rules with every new um, block that comes out, they tweak the rules just a little bit, add a, a little bit more stuff in it to make the game um, fresh. Now. You, where do you get these from, and where do you uh, get the cards from? Well, again, you can get the cards from any of your uh, big box places. Well, not any, but some select big box places. Or you can buy them online, or you can get them at a local game store. Um, this one is relatively old. Uh, some of the cards are outdated, but still usable and still playable. Uh, you can probably pick this up for about 6 to 10 bucks. Now, this one gives you everything one player needs to get into the game. If you have a buddy, he's going to also have to purchase one of these, or she is going to also have to purchase one of these to get in the game. Um, what comes in this particular box? Uh, well, like I say, everything for one player to get into the game. It usually gives you a combination of cards to equal 60, I believe, uh, and that includes uh, random cards as well as preset cards. Um, it also gives you, and what I think is totally freaking useless to me anyway, is these major, huge, big hero cards. Um, great for video demonstration purposes because everything's clear and concise and easy to see, but for a playability aspect of it, who wants to cart these big damn cards around? Um, certainly not me. Um, in there, you're also going to get uh, a little cheat sheet rules. Uh, quick start guide or whatever you want to call it you're also going to get a very large set more precise rules if you're getting into the game just now um, this is a good read but go download uh, the um, entire updated rule set which is like 70 pages it is a little intimidating the first time you see it there are no graphics on it um, but you can also download these books and read them as you go as well. And I'm going to do my best in this video series to explain the basics of the game as well. Um, one of the things I do like about this is if you only have the one deck and you don't sleeve your cards, this is kind of a, a, a neat way of of keeping your cards. Now I just keep all my doubles and my hero cards in there, give them to kids if they don't have the heroes, I just give them away um, when the opportunity comes up and I have this on me. Um, but uh, yeah, everything in one box you need, take this over to your game store um, and uh, play the game. Now, I will say this about this particular thing. As, as good as it is, and it does hold sleeved cards, but once you sleeve about 60 cards, um, well, you know what? Maybe they do fit. Maybe 60 sleeved cards do fit in here. I don't know. Um, Oh, look at that. 60 sleeved cards do fit in here. So you can build a deck, carry this thing to your uh, game shop, and you're good to go. Um, should have no problems whatsoever. Okay, so that being done, let's move on. What else can you What else can you buy if you don't like the randomness of these packages? Because like I say, these will give you uh, random cards. 
Well, you let's say you play the video game and you want to duplicate the hero that you already have. In my case, I play uh, for Horde and I play an Orc Warrior. Um, I can go out and buy a class deck, which is uh, one deck, uh, so many cards in there, and I think you get one or two booster decks, booster packs inside there, and all those cards combined will make um, a deck for the class that is specified on the box when you purchase it. Um, and you don't get the big instructions, you just get the quick start guide, you don't get the super big hero cards and everything like that, but um, it is relatively inexpensive, I think, depending on where you purchase it from. You can pick them up, for, again, a class deck for about 8 to 12 bucks. Um, and you get the class that you want to play. Um, the th another way of getting into this particular uh, game is going online and purchasing uh, uh, cards from an online retailer. Now, that's got good things and bad things to it. One, you're going to be paying shipping. I live in Canada, so shipping kills me. However, buying from the States, DA Card World specifically, tends to be a buttload cheaper than buying a box of cards here, uh, even with the freight. So I uh, make all my purchases through uh, DA Card World, and I recommend that everyone check them out for any of your uh, card needs. Um, why would you buy a box of cards versus a booster pack versus uh, a starter deck versus a, a class deck? Well, we've already specified that if you're if you're just getting into the game, you don't know if you like it, this is probably a good way to go. Class deck is probably a good way to go. Uh, an even better way to go if you don't know if you're going to like it. Talk to, go to a local gaming store, see if they carry the game. If they carry the game, have them give you a demo and and, and try a game out. I guarantee that if, if, if you like card games, if you've never played a card game, um, you will, to a certain degree, like this game. If not, fall in love with it the first time you play it. Um... Now, why would you want to buy booster packs or um, booster boxes or booster cases? Um, the reason for that for most people is uh, the anticipation of opening a deck and not opening a pack, sorry, and not knowing what's in it. It's just fun to do. Um, another perk of, of doing it that way is you're going to get loot cards. Now, you do get loot cards in these packaging as well as the class decks, but the only reason you get loot cards is because there are booster packs inside these boxes as well as the class decks. What are loot cards? Loot cards are basically cards that have a, uh, a, a gold foil bar going across the card. When you scratch that uh, foil um, bar off, there's a code underneath. That code, if you play the online game, can be redeemed for a special pet, uh, mount, um, some sort of cosmetic perk in the video game. Um, even if you don't play the video game and you get a loot card, um, sometimes you can sell the loot cards back to the store or on eBay and make a little bit of cash to then buy more cards to play the trading card game. Some people actually do this as a means of income because some of the value of some of these loot cards is uh, insanely overpriced. Um, some of them value up to five, seven hundred dollars for the card. Some of them are only ninety-nine cents for the card. Um, some people actually, like I say, they'll buy cases or boxes and they'll open them up, rip all of them out, sell all the commons and uncommons and rares and epics on eBay, as well as the uh, the loot cards and have nothing to show for it, but they're making a fair chunk of change. Um, don't get me wrong, this is fun to do, but you gotta spend money to make money. And it, it's a gamble. You could buy a case and not get a... I, I, I don't know what the ratio is, but I guess you can get a case and not actually get a half-decent loot card. Um, so you just blew a lot of money on a game that you really have no intention of playing, and if you're lucky you'll make your money back, but you won't because you're selling it on eBay and no one buys commons for uh, uh, opened commons for a large amount. That being said, you can use that to your advantage if you're somebody who's getting into the game and um, you don't want to spend a buttload of money on, on cards, go on eBay. Look out for uh, lots. And what I mean by that is people will actually break the box, open up all the packages, separate the cards into common, uncommon, um, uh, rare, and epic, and sell um, that block of cards, all of the commons, all of the uncommons, all of the rares, all of the, um, what is it? 
I can't remember rares after rares, legendaries or whatever the loot cards, they will sell them in lots. So you can buy a lot of uncommons, you can buy a lot of rares, you can buy a lot of whatever. And you can do this rather inexpensively. For example, there is one person on eBay, one company on eBay that sells 1,600 cards. Mm, I'd say 80 to 90% of them are going to be commons and uncommons, but they're $25 for, for that. That's equal to almost four boxes of, of cards. That being said, you're not going to get the, the uh, very many rares, and you're certainly not going to get any loot cards, um, But uh, and you won't get any epics. That's the word I was looking for. But to start out, that's a great way to go. Now, um, moving on. Next uh, video, about the cards.